go ahead and start. So I don't even have my yoga mat today, so you don't really need anything. You might want a pillow for your rest at the end, but otherwise we will do this practice with minimal props. So we're gonna begin standing for a moment with feet about shoulder width apart. We'll make sure that the shoulders are released away from the ears. The lower belly is lifted. Crown of the head is pulling upward. All parts of both feet pressing down into the ground. As the feet press down, we root down into the ground to rise through the crown of the head. And if you'd like, you can go ahead and close your eyes and turn your attention for a moment to your breath. Allowing the breath to flow in and out through your nose at a slow and steady pace. Let's take two more breaths. And you can slowly allow the eyes to open and then lifting at the chest, broadening through the collarbone and leading with the chest, arms straight out to the side, fingers spread, lift your thighs up toward your hips, tightening them, maybe put a micro bend or a bigger bend in your knees and allow yourself to fold forward. And we're just gonna stay in a flat back with the arms out, said knees can be bent, Weight can be slightly forward. We're gonna take a few deep breaths in this half forward fold. If you'd like, you're welcome to put your hands on your legs to support yourself. If your arms are straight out, you can feel your fingers pull all the way from each other. Keeping the collarbone and the chest broad. One more breath here. And you can allow yourself to round and fold as far forward as you like. Again, your feet can be as wide as you need and your legs can be as bent as you'd like. With your head relaxed and your upper back rounded, you can gently shake your head yes and no to release some of the tension that might be in our neck. We'll take two more breaths here. Good. And go ahead and bend your legs generously. Bring your hands to your hips and come up to stand. We're gonna go ahead and move now into Eagle Pose. And you can have two options for your legs. You can either keep them both flat on the ground and sit back in a chair position, or if you'd like, you can bend just the left leg and cross the right leg over and allow that toe to tuck behind your calf. So you can find a position that works for your legs, either one. I'll put mine both on the ground for a second. 
And if we're crossing the right leg, we're gonna cross at the elbows with the left elbow crossing in front and bring the palms together. You're also welcome to give yourself a hug. So you can do a hug in a chair, hug with eagle legs or arms can be up or arms can be, arms and feet can be crossed. Any of those variations are perfectly fine. Let's take two more breaths. And keep the lower belly up away from the thighs and the weight back in the heels. Good. On your next inhale, press through your feet and rise. Good. We'll take a couple breaths standing in mountain pose and then we'll do the other side. So now that you hopefully have found the variation that works well for you, we can move right into whichever variation of Eagle Pose you would like to do. Going ahead and bending at the legs, sitting back in the chair and either crossing or keeping both feet flat. And then if you're crossing in Eagle Arms, you want the right elbow to cross over the left. Otherwise, give yourself a hug with the arms switched. And last breath here. We'll inhale, press through both feet, rise and uncross the arms. Very good. All right, we'll go ahead and go into five pointed star to prepare for warrior two. So we'll bring the feet wide, as wide as you'd like. We'll start with both toes, the toes of both feet pointing straight forward. Engage the muscles of your thighs. Bring your arms straight out. Feel that space between your fingertips. And turning at the hip socket, we'll externally rotate that right foot so that the right toes are facing to the right and the left toes are pointing straight forward. And we can go ahead and bend that right foot so that the right knee is over the ankle. Shoulders and hips are facing forward. Both feet pressing down into the ground. And you can turn to gaze over your right fingertips. Keep the lower belly hugging up, crown of the head pulling up, shoulders moving down away from the ears. Make sure your knee isn't collapsing in, but is pointing the same direction as your toes. and breathe slowly and deeply in and out through your nose. And one last breath here. Go ahead and straighten the right foot, turn the right toes forward. You can bring your hands to your hips for a moment go ahead and turn the left toes out. So now the left toes are facing the left side, right toes facing forward, hips and shoulders facing forward. You can go ahead and bring your arms straight out to the side and bend your left foot. You can adjust your stance however you need to so that your left knee is over your left ankle. So lower belly lifts, shoulders drop, knee is pressing the same direction as the toes and not collapsing in. Then you can turn to gaze over your left fingertips. Again, turning your attention to your breath, trying to keep the breath smooth and even in and out through the nose. If it's difficult to keep the breath smooth and even, you can take breaks or straighten your leg a little bit. We'll do two more breaths. Good. 
and go ahead and straighten that leg. Bring your hands to your hips. And now we're going to externally rotate both feet. So both toes are facing out. And we'll go ahead and bend the legs. Then you can adjust your stance so that your knees are over your ankles. Tailbone pointing toward the ground. Shoulders down. We're going to interlace the hands and let them drop straight in front of us. So we'll pull the chest forward, shoulders pulling back, hands resting straight down. Gaze forward, crown of the head lifting up. Press through both feet. Try not to grip with your toes. Take breaks as you need and we'll try for two more breaths. Good. Your hands to your hips. Come to stand. Turn your toes in. And you can step the feet together. I'm going to turn and face the side and we're going to squat all the way down, coming onto our knees, releasing our toes and sitting back on our heels. We're going to do a camel pose variation with your hands on the floor, but if that's not comfortable for you, you can come up on your knees, put your hands on your lower back and lift the chest forward here. So you can either do this variation up on your knees or starting from sitting back, pressing the fingers behind you, palms flat on the ground, shoulders over wrists, and on an inhale, we'll lift the hips up, keeping the head in neutral spine, pulling the chest forward, and taking slow breaths. So whichever variation of camel pose works for you, we're gonna pull the chest up while bringing the belly toward the spine to protect your lower back. Let's do three more breaths here. Good. Exhale to lower the hips back onto your legs and we're going to move into puppy pose. So for puppy pose, we'll walk the hands forward, lifting the hips up off your heels, coming into a tabletop position for a moment and then walking the hands a foot or so forward and letting the chest fall down toward the ground trying to keep your hips directly over your knees and you can rest your forehead on the ground. You can walk your fingertips forward a bit. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Allow your chest to fall forward and breathe. Let's try for two more breaths here. I'm going to go ahead and come back up to tabletop position. If you're pregnant, you can go ahead and move into a child's pose. Otherwise, we'll walk the hands forward and move into a cobra. So we'll lower ourselves all the way down to the ground so that the chest and forehead are on the ground, hands are underneath the shoulders, and on an inhale, we'll lift the chest. Lift your hands so that your hands aren't having too much weight in them. This is a back bend using the muscles in your upper back. Internally rotate your feet so that your pinky toes are pressing on the ground, and this helps protect your lower back. 
turn, exhale, lower back to the ground. And we'll do a few with our breath, inhaling to lift the chest and the shoulders up and exhale to lower. Inhale to lift up, exhale to lower. Last one, inhale to lift and exhale to lower. Very good. All right, we're gonna push back up into tabletop position and we'll go ahead and move through a few cat cow poses from here. So on an inhale, we'll bring the chest forward, lift the chin, drop the belly. And on an exhale, lift the belly up toward the ceiling, round the shoulders and drop the chin. Inhaling to pull forward and exhaling to round. Go ahead and do a few more at your own pace. Next time you are in cow with the belly dropped and the chest lifted, we're going to hold this for three breaths and then we'll switch into cat and hold it for three breaths. So chest pulling forward, belly dropped, chin lifted slightly, slow and steady breaths. And then lift the lower belly, release the shoulders, drop the head, and we'll hold cat for three breaths. Good. We'll come back into neutral spine and we'll move into child's pose, bringing the big toes together bringing the knees wide, hinging back at the hips and walking the hands forward. You can put a pillow underneath your chest or your forehead. You can also put a blanket under or behind your knees. And we'll take a few breaths in child's pose. Your hands can be walked forward or you can relax them at your side. Walk your hands in and we're going to swing the legs out in front to bend the legs. So if you're pregnant, you can go ahead and lay back on your back and do a few bridge poses, lifting your hips while pressing through your feet, moving slowly with your breath. Otherwise, we're going to do some boat play. So for boat, you can start with your hands behind you, or you can bring your hands behind your knees, straightening your arms. Find the position that allows your back to be nice and straight. And you can come up on your toes. And you can lift one foot and then the other. You can also try lifting both feet and bringing them back down. And if you can keep your back nice and straight. You can release your hands. Just go ahead and play with some different variations in boat. And you can keep moving or you can find a pose that you'd like to hold for a few breaths. Most important thing here is to keep the spine straight and long. The 
two more breaths in whatever variation you're using. Very good. And release your feet back down. We'll bring the legs straight out in front. If you'd like, you can sit up on a pillow or a folded blanket. That might help you keep your spine nice and long here. You can press down into your palms with your fingertips pointed toward your feet. Your legs can have a bend or they can be straight, whichever feels better to you. If your legs are straight, you're gonna to try to press those thighs into the ground. As you press through your hands, you wanna feel your spine grow tall without letting your shoulders come up toward your ears. Go ahead and flex the feet and feel those muscles in your legs engaging. And take a few breaths. Very good, and release. We're gonna do a torso stretch pose and you have a couple options for your feet. You can cross them, sit with your legs crossed. You can bring your soles of your feet together in butterfly, or if you'd like to do the variation I'm gonna do, we're gonna tuck the left leg behind you, bringing your left heel toward your left hip, and then bringing your left heel in towards your left inner thigh. So either sitting like this or with your legs crossed or feet together in bound ankle or butterfly pose. And then we're going to take the right hand, put it down by your left hip, and then toes are going to point back towards your, I think I said left hip, I meant right. So right hand by your right hip with the right fingertips pointing towards your left toe. I'm gonna turn a little bit so you see better. So then you're gonna take the left hand and grab your forearm or your upper arm, whichever is accessible for you. And as you do that, you'll pull the chest forward while lifting the lower belly and trying to feel both sitting bones on the ground. Take three smooth, even breaths here. Good. And if your legs are crossed, you can switch the, full, the cross of your legs. If you're in butterfly, you can stay and you're with me. You can bring the legs straight out and then bring them to the other side. So your left, Heel is in towards your right thigh. Your right heel is toward your right hip. Left hand is on the ground with the left fingers pointing toward the right foot. Right hand will reach around and grab the left arm and pull the chest forward while lifting the lower belly away from your thighs. That right sitting bone is gonna to try to lift as much as possible, see if you can press it toward the ground. And we'll take three smooth breaths here. Very good. All right, so swing your feet back around. If you're pregnant, go ahead and go into butterfly pose, lifting through your spine and folding forward. Otherwise, we're gonna do a stretch and face this way. I'm gonna cross the right leg over the left, or you can bring it straight in here next to your right hip, or you can cross it over, put it next to your left, as long as you can keep both of your sitting bones on the ground. Holding onto the left leg with the left arm, we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a twist. So inhaling to rise tall and exhaling to put that right arm behind you to twist to the right. With each inhale, see if you can 
feel your spine grow tall. And with each exhale, allow yourself to release a little bit deeper into the twist. If you're in bound angle pose, you can go ahead and lift back up and take a few breaths to rest for a moment. And if you're with me, you can go ahead and uncross the leg and switch to bring in the left leg. Again, you can keep it next to your left sitting bone, or if you can keep yourself flat on the ground, you can cross it over. If you're in bound angle or butterfly, you can go ahead and grow tall and fold forward for a few more breaths. If you're with me, you can cross your right hand over your left knee, lift your left arm up, inhaling to grow tall and exhaling to twist to the left. Keeping both the sitting bones on the ground helps keep this twist in your upper back. And then one more deep breath here. Good. And release. All right, now we're gonna extend the right foot out to the side, bring the left foot in towards your right inner thigh. Try to press both your sitting bones down and turning the chest to the left, we'll reach the right foot, right hand towards the right foot, row tall with your left arm and fold over toward the right, seeing if you can get a nice stretch through your left side, not collapsing or allowing yourself to bring, come forward, but to keep the length through the left side, pulling up and to the right. If your hand can't reach your toe, you can put your hand right behind your leg or, or put it in front of your leg. So you can be here or you can grab a hold of your left leg and stretch over to the left. Sorry, I'm getting a cramp in my right leg. Take a couple deep breaths here and then we'll switch and do the other side. And pull the right leg in and extend the left leg out. With the left leg flexed, again, you can put your hand in front of you, you can put your hand behind you, or turning your chest to the right, you can reach for your left foot, growing tall through the right arm and gently twisting over to the left. Anywhere that works for you, you can also keep this left leg bent a little bit if you need to. Good. And we're going to go ahead and roll now onto our back. Lying flat on the back, and we'll bring both knees into the chest, allowing your knees to spread so that they're pulling toward either side of your rib cage. And you can put your hands underneath your legs, underneath your knees, right here, or if you can reach the outside of each foot, you can grab the outside of each foot and pull your feet straight toward the ground. The lower belly is, not the lower belly, the lower back is reaching for the ground. It may be lifted off a little bit and that's completely fine, but it's reaching toward the ground. and release the legs and drop them down to the ground. And for this twist, you've got a couple options. 
If you're pregnant or you don't want to move too deeply, you can windshield wiper your legs slowly back and forth. If you'd like to try a different twist, you can straighten both legs up above you and then with your hands straight out and palms pressing down to the ground, you can let your right leg or your legs fall to the right, pressing your left shoulder into the ground. If you'd like to bend your legs here, you're also welcome to do that. Good. And then with the legs straight or bent, you can bring them back up to center and let the legs fall now to the left, pressing the right shoulder into the ground. And take a few breaths there. Good. And bring your legs back to center and drop your feet to the ground about shoulder width apart and we'll do recline pigeon pose. So we'll cross the right ankle over the left and you can stay right here or you can interlace your hands behind your left leg and pull it into your chest while flexing your feet. And keep that lower back glued to the ground. Good. And we'll switch sides, crossing the left leg over the right knee and either staying right here or interlacing behind the right leg and pulling the right knee in towards the chest. and release. And a couple options for our rest for today. You can either bring your knees together and your feet wide, resting your hands on your belly or palms facing up. You can roll over onto your left side, especially if you're pregnant, that's a good option. Or you can bring the soles of your feet together in a bound angle pose and stick a pillow underneath your head and rest in a reclined bound angle or butterfly pose. And you can go ahead and find the option that is most easeful for you. And so slowly see if you can allow your body to quiet. Allow the fidgeting to cease and find some stillness. See if you can allow your mind to rest, maybe closing your eyes. Allowing your breathing to resume a natural and comfortable rhythm. Notice for a moment the top of your head. See if it feels like you're clenching or that your brain is highly activated. And see if you can allow it to rest and relax 
imagining that your brain is releasing down and back. Seeing if you can soften any clenching or creases in your forehead. Relaxing at your temples. Allowing your cheeks and your jaw to soften. Letting your tongue relax in the back of your mouth. See if there's any space in your neck or shoulders to let go of tension. You might notice there's some tension in areas where you're not able to release. And in those times, it's okay to just notice the tensions there and allow it to be there. Move your awareness into your upper back. Seeing if you can soften, allowing the floor beneath you to support you. Imagining that the ground is holding you as your body relaxes and feels heavier. And allow your lower back to release. And see if you can imagine your arms and your legs and your feet growing heavy. You can do your own quick body scan to see if there's any other place where you've got some space to release and relax. And we'll take a last couple minutes here to do some breathing together. If you'd like to, you can put your hands on your belly. And we're going to inhale to the count of four, hold for a count of four, and exhale to the count of eight. If that pace is not comfortable for you, or if you become lightheaded, just breathe at a pace that's comfortable for you. So we'll inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, 
and exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And allow your breath to resume a comfortable and normal rhythm. You can gently bring your awareness to the room and your body, feeling the floor beneath you and gently wiggling your fingers and your toes. Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And slowly making your way onto your left side, using your hands to support you, you can slowly sit back up into a comfortable seated position. Well, thank you so much for joining me from the Upper Peninsula in Michigan. It's nice to practice with you today.